Hi guys! Hi guys, it's Charles. Alright, so it's lunchtime right now, and I'm gonna show you guys how to use your leftover white rice. A lot of people don't know what to do with leftover white rice. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Come on, let's get cooking. I am here in New York City right now, and I am super excited. Hey guys! I am showing you guys how to cook with your leftover fried rice. I got some yummy goodness I chopped up earlier. Got some carrots here, yum, yum, yum. Love carrots. Hi Dom, watching from New York City. I am in New York, it's Charles. I am cooking naked in my kitchen in New York City. I'm gonna show you guys how to cook your leftover white rice. We all hate getting leftovers. You know, if you get takeout, you have all this white rice, you don't know what to do with it. But this is actually fantastic for doing a fried rice. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make fried rice with this yummy, yummy goodness. All right, so right here, I'll tell you guys what I have here. I have some yummy carrots. These are organic carrots that are diced up. I kind of just use what I have available in my pantry and I love this. Hi, Alan. And I got some Chinese pork sausages. These are so yummy. Pork sausages and I have some mangoes. Some people think, oh, this is so weird. Why are you adding mangoes to fried rice? Mangoes actually bring out a nice citrus and just nice flavor. It's like a nice sweetness with the contrast with the sausages and also we got some yummy carrots. All right guys, so if you're just tuning in, it's Charles, Chef Charles from New York City. I'm gonna show you guys how to cook your leftover white rice. So if you don't like white rice, you can totally swap this out for, you know, quinoa, whatever you want. All right, let's get to it. So I'm gonna start my heat, my pan, on hot right now. All right, so it's on hot, and I'm gonna use coconut oil. So I love cooking with coconut oil. It's just a nice, kind of like nice um, flavor. It's great for high heat cooking. I love, love, love coconut oil. Um, you guys, wanted to see more casual video watch out for the oil splatter <laughs> yes alan all right so i got some uh coconut oil a lot of people ask me why do you use coconut oil by the way i love oil pulling first thing in the morning so you just kind of put this in my mouth oil pull, pull like swish it i don't know if any of you guys do let me know if you oil pull um but i'm using coconut oil so coconut oil is fantastic for high heat cooking. Also, if you don't have coconut oil, I would totally use like ghee. Ghee is fantastic. Um, Robert, <laughs> nice watching. Yeah, thanks for watching Robert from Palm Springs. All right, if you guys are just tuning in, I'm showing people how to cook their leftover fried rice. So this is leftover white rice that's like kind of stale, kind of like hard, but for uh, fried rice, they're actually perfect consistency. You want it to be kind of stale, you want it to be kind of hard, and it's fantastic leftover, yummy hangover food. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Hi, Phil. All right, guys, so I got some coconut oil, high heat cooking. Hi, Amanda. And these are some of our ingredients. Some of the ingredients. <laughs> All right, so I got some carrots. Beta carotene, high in beta carotene. You see, it's like a nice little rainbow. I have some pork sausages. These are Chinese sausages I got from the store. If you don't want sausages, you can totally swap it out for your, your whole choice of protein. And um, I have some mangoes. So mangoes are so yummy, so delicious. They're in season right now. I just love the flavor. I know some people are throwing off. They're like, why are you adding mangoes? Mangoes are so delicious. If you guys are just tuning in, I'm making fried rice. Doing a little dance, dance, dance. Want me to do a little dance? <laughs> All right. And I'm cooking like this because I'm making fried rice and fried rice is going to like make me smell like crap. I don't want to smell. I'm gonna to go to the gym afterwards. I don't wanna smell like fried rice. And that is why I'm not wearing a shirt. Brought to you by William Sonoma. All right, so I have the heat going on here. Super, super high heat. I'll bring it over here so you guys can see. So I'm gonna bring over the camera. Don't mind if I do. Welcome to my New York City apartment. All right, so you guys, if you guys are tuning in, I do have pants on. <laughs> I do have pants on. You guys think I'm fully naked. No, I'm not naked. All right, so these are our ingredients. We got some carrots, some Asian sausages, and mangoes. 
I have the heat really, really hot right now. I'm gonna add a little bit of, I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna put it right here. If it will stay, will it stay? Uh, let's get this to stay. I'm gonna put you guys right here so you guys can see everything. Okay, there you go. Perfect. All right, that was my setup. Move things over here. I'll move it back over here, but you guys can see what I'm cooking here. So this is a hot, hot pan, and I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. So you guys all know I love, love, love garlic. Garlic is so great for high heat cooking. Look at this, yum, 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 garlic into the pan. Oh, it's my favorite sound in the whole wide world. Get that in there, yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna also add in my Asian sausages. So these are my Asian sausages going into the pan. Get a nice sizzle. Oh, it's smelling so good. So, so, so good. Yum, yum, yum. Hello, guys. Cooking, cooking. All right, so I got some garlic in here and I have some Asian sausages. I'm gonna turn the heat on higher and we're gonna cook away. This is so yummy. All right, do you guys like the other view better or this view? I know this view is like right in front of the thing. I want you guys to see what I'm cooking here. So Asian sausages, some garlic. You know what would be great is some onions. If you had some onions, onions would be fantastic. But again, going back to it, I'm just using what I have available. I want you guys to use what you have available. Stop going fancy with all your crazy ingredients and recipes. All right, so cooking this is smelling so good. I'm gonna add in our carrots. So this is our carrots. I'm adding in carrots. And I'm gonna add in the mangoes. The mangoes actually provide a nice, yes, red onions would be good. Mangoes provide a nice uh, sweetness. All right, you guys hear that sizzle? I love the sound of the sizzle. All right, now for our seasoning. I'm not gonna add in the rice until later. Ooh, look at that. So I got some sausages, some yummy, so yummy, it looks so good. All right, so we're gonna let that cook a little bit. I'm gonna add in some more seasonings and spices. I have some black pepper here, yum, yum, yum. Black pepper. I'm gonna add, this is actually one of my favorites. This is a Chinese barbecue sauce. This is something I grew up eating. It smells so good, so delicious. Use what you have. So I'm using a Chinese barbecue sauce going in a little bit. This is gonna provide a nice smoky flavor, healthy fats in here. There's some garlic, some ginger, some shallots, some sesame, coconut powder. There's also some shrimp in here. So if you don't do shrimp, you don't have to do that. Can you send that to Adrian in Michigan? <laughs> yes, this is my favorite. I grew up eating this. Actually, one of my friend's family created this sauce and it's from Taiwan. If you guys wanna learn more about it, I will send it your way. I'm gonna add a little bit more moisture into what I'm cooking up here. All right, let that cook. I have a little bit of spring water right here. So the spring water is going in. I'll show you guys, spring water. <laughs> so cool, it's like a steam room, steam room. All right, we're cooking that. And of course I'm gonna keep it healthier. I'm gonna add some turmeric in here. So turmeric is going in. If you guys are just tuning in, I'm making fried rice with leftover stale white rice. So a lot of people don't know what to do with this white rice that you get from takeout, maybe it's extra. I have a whole container of this. It's like, what do I do with this? I don't want to throw it away. Poison sauce, Alan, yes, I'm getting there. Turmeric, fresh turmeric. Turmeric is fantastic, anti-inflammatory benefits, also great for post-workout, especially if you're trying to get those muscles. I've been working out, so I've been doing a lot of post-workout. I get a lot, get very sore. So turmeric is fantastic. Magnesium is fantastic. Collagen is fantastic. All right, so I'm gonna just kind of get that cooking there. If you're just tuning in, you're wondering what this goodness is, I have some Chinese 
pork sausages. I have some mangoes and I also have some carrots. This is looking so good. Gotta get it back on the heat to let it cook a little bit longer. I am going to use this spicy hot sauce sauce, just a little bit. Mmm, it's kind of nice and spicy. If you guys don't like spice, you can totally swap this out. Use what you have. If you have sriracha, you can use sriracha as well. All right, so I'm adding a little bit of this hot paste. A little goes a long way because it gets really, really hot. Dance, dance, dance. I need some music. All right, so I am sauteing this. This looks so good. And you know what would be fantastic? If you had some greens, I would add some greens in here. Some cilantro, some scallions. I'm using what I have. Again, if you're just tuning in, we're making fried rice, turmeric. What else would you guys add to this? Leave it in the comments below. If you were making this at home, what would you add? I'm getting so hungry. So good. Love this. It's smelling so good. All right, I have a little bit of Namo Shoyu, and it's basically low sodium soy sauce. Need music, music. Okay, I'm gonna play some music, but my, my phone is playing. You know what, I'm gonna go get my laptop and I'll play some music so we can do some dancing, dancing. All right, I'm gonna play some jams. I'm also going to see if you guys are answering, asking me any questions because I'm watching below. Are you guys asking any, do you add egg to your fried rice? Phil, I would totally add egg to my, uh, my fried rice, but I uh, ran out of eggs today. I would totally do it. If you guys have eggs at home, feel free. I've been eating a lot of eggs. I went through my carton of eggs, so um, not today, but if you want to, you can totally do it. I totally add some eggs. Oh, you guys want to hear a song that I'm really into right now? I'm going to play it right now for you. You guys can follow me on Spotify, too. Uh, here we go. Oh, I got some music. Mm -mm. I need a better song. Ooh, this is a good song. Ready? <laughs> I got music. All right, this is looking amazing. I'm gonna toss in my white rice now. All right, you guys can't hear me. So now I'm gonna put in my white rice. This is the stale white rice. This is the reason why we're even here, to get rid of this. All right, I am popping this in. All right, cool. Oh, by the way, you guys, my mom is coming to visit in New York this weekend. Do you guys want to see a video with me and my mom cooking in the kitchen, possibly dancing? I know you guys like that video I did. So, white rice goes in right now. White rice, it looks stale, but trust me, it's going to taste so good. How much turmeric do you recommend daily? I put like one tablespoon, Sarah, one tablespoon of... Uh, of turmeric. Oh my gosh, I love that the turmeric is also turning the uh, the rice yellow. Phil, yes, we'll do a video with my mom. All right, so now you're gonna scrape out all that yummy goodness that was kind of sauteing from the pork sausages and just get all that good stuff. All that browning is flavor, don't get rid of it. All right, this is looking so yummy. I'm gonna add in a little bit more of this water. Spring water is gonna help it soften a little bit. All right. This is looking so good. What else would you guys add to this? Oh, you know what would be really good? Some mushrooms. Mushrooms would be fantastic. If you guys are seeing the yellowness from the rice. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Who wants to come over and eat with me and maybe dance? All right, I'm cooking. I'm gonna mash up all pieces because we don't want any rice that is not seasoned. All right, so if you're just tuning in, we have some mangoes, some carrots, and some 
Asian pork sausages. I use Asian barbecue sauce, some turmeric in here, and some stale white rice I had left over in the fridge. I never like to throw away any food because I feel like there are people starving. We should eat the food or at least share it with other people. So I'm gonna let that cook a little bit. It looks amazing. Kind of get that nice crispness from the rice. I love when you go to the restaurants and um, the rice is so delicious. I think it's time for a little dance break. You guys ready? Let's do a dance break. Sesame oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of sesame oil. If you're just tuning in, if you're just tuning in, I am making fried rice. I'm adding some sesame oil. Boom. Sesame oil is gonna bring it a nice Christmas. You hear that crinkling? It's coming from the fried rice. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. You know what else we should add? A little bit of salt, a little bit of cumin. A little bit of cumin for nice smoky flavor. And I have some paprika. And I have a little bit more Namo show you. This is the soy sauce that I use that it's low in sodium and All right, so that's our leftover fried rice. I'm gonna plate it so you guys can see it. This looks so good. Ah, I just wanna eat it right away. All right. I'm gonna turn the heat off. I'm gonna plate it and show you guys this magical goodness. That just shows you how, cook, how quick you can cook this. So if you're just tuning in, leftover stale white rice. I just showed you guys how to make fried rice. This is turmeric fried rice with carrots and mangoes and pork sausage, yum. Who wants some? If you guys want some, leave a comment below. You want some? This is some fried rice I made with leftover white rice. All right, that looks delicious. You're getting your proteins, you're getting your veggies, you're getting your fruits, you're getting your turmeric in, and you're getting some nice, yummy, umami flavor. If you're just tuning in, Charles from New York, I am cooking in my kitchen, showing you guys how to make leftover fried rice with mangoes, carrots, and pork sausages. This looks so good. All right. And you guys know, I am a plating freak. So look at that. That is our finished product. And then I'm gonna to top it off with some sesame seeds. Black sesame seeds. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. I'm gonna show you that so you guys can see. That is our finished product. This is yummy fried rice, turmeric fried rice with carrots and some pork sausages and some mangoes. I think it's time to do a dance and then I'm gonna give it a taste test. Let's do a dance. Mm. All right, enough dancing, let's eat. Time to taste this. All right, so if you guys are just tuning in, you guys can watch the full video. I just showed you guys how to use leftover stale white rice to make yummy fried rice. Don't throw it away because white rice is so versatile, you can play around with it. If you don't like white rice, you can also use brown rice or quinoa and yum, yum, yum. Hi, Lair, hi, Michael. All right, time for taste us. Whew, all that dancing, getting in your cardio and you're cooking at the same time. That's called multitasking, my friends. All right, cheers, bon appetit. Oh, it smells amazing. I smell the sesame oil and the turmeric. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's a happy dance. This is so good. You know what? I hate to do this to you guys, my friends. I have to go eat. If you guys enjoyed this, share this. If you guys want to see more videos, if you guys want to see a video with me and my mom cooking, thumbs up, leave a comment below. Tell me, what would you add to this fried rice? Bye, Charles Shen TV.